This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. So today I got the new action figure two pack set from McFarland Toys of Spawn and Batman. And I thought I would show them off to you guys. Um, pretty much the only reason I bought the set was for the Spawn. Um, the Batman that's included in this set is ridiculous looking. Um, I'm either going to sell him or customize him because the head is garbage. And I'll, I'll show it to you guys. But first, let's start with Spawn. So, this is a really cool Spawn. Um, it is the exact same figure that came packaged with that throne made of garbage. And um, it's just this time they gave him a full cape. Hang on. has a really good looking uh, face sculpt and the cape is cool. So right here, this was the half cape that he came with and it looks like they, they sculpted all this new stuff on here and attached it to the uh, little half cape that they originally gave us. Um, He's cool. It's it's just kind of hard to get excited over a figure that we already own. You know what I mean? Um, there are some differences, though, between this one and the release that had the um, small little half cape. So this is, this is a cool-looking figure. I like the fact that he comes with a, a full-on cape this time. Um... But to tell you the truth, I think I still like my custom better than this one. Um, I like this cape that they gave us. Uh, it's a, it makes him a really cool action figure. But check out the one that I did. So this, this is the little vinyl half cape put together with a posable um, fabric cape that has wires in it so you can pose it. Um, let's put them side by side. The other differences are The giant M on his chest for Malbolgia and his face paint is a much lighter color. It's pretty much like an off-white, whereas the new one, it's a light gray. So the one on the left, yeah, it's more of a white color. Hang on, let's get them more in the light where you can tell. So the one on the left is the one that came with the throne and the half cape, and his colors are uh, this one. There's a little more gray mixed in with the black, and his you know mask paint, and the M on his chest is more of like a bone colored white, whereas this one. Um, he has truer blacks. It doesn't look like there's a lot of gray mixed in with this black. This black looks really dark and pronounced. It's cool. And then um, his face paint and his chest emblem is uh, more of a light gray. But that's 
that's really the only differences. It is the exact same figure that they gave us the first time around. Um, I don't know. I'm torn. I... Hmm. I like the truer blacks in this one. But I like the way that this white color just pops off of this one. And uh, I think I like my cape better still. Um, the one on the left, the collar is sort of opened up enough so that you can see. Jesus Christ, you guys hear that noise? You guys hear that pounding? Yeah, it's not something cool like as if my house had a ghost in it. It's my fucking neighbors upstairs. I don't know what they're doing, but it's noisy as fuck. Anyway, um, what was I saying? This collar is sort of like flowing in the wind, whoosh, flowing off to, uh, to the left. And this one, the collar is opened up. I swear to God, guys, my neighbors are 10 seconds away from me acting a fool if they keep pounding like that. Hello? Hello, Joey? <laughs> I'm going to start yelling at them in all kinds of crazy voices. Okay, let me show you guys the Batman that came with this set. Oh my God, look at that. Look how hideous that face looks. So it, it kind of looks like they were going for a Kelly Jones look. Kelly Jones, when he draws Batman, the, you know, everything is super exaggerated. The ears are hella long and skinny. And, um, but that's Kelly Jones's style. And it looks awesome when Kelly Jones does it. Um, you know, he did those Red Rain comic books, the, uh, comic books where Batman, um, was fighting Dracula and that exaggerated crazy look of his, um, was perfect for that comic book. He, he kind of looks like a, uh, his style is sort of reminiscent of Bernie Wrightson, but definitely his own, his own style too. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, anyway, this face sort of looks Kelly Jones looking, but it's such a stupid look. And the one thing McFarland does that pisses me off is, so I can't just do a simple head swap because the fucking head is attached to the neck. It's all one giant piece. So... I I had gotten a hold of another uh, a blank head from uh, the Hush Batman and I was going to paint it up and attach it to this body. I did not realize that the neck was attached to the head. And that Hush Batman is just the head, there's no neck. So I have to figure out something. I either have to find another Batman with a neck or I don't know, cut this off and try and attach it to the other head. But I'm not keeping this Batman. This is, the body is cool and the darker colors on him are cool. It's just this head is retarded. Like, look at him. Like, that's the goofiest fucking look you could. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be angry Batman, but I just don't. Like, I picture Batman just so angry and frustrated, like he's gritting his teeth. Not like he's uh, yelling like this or whatever. Because that, that goes against Batman. Batman just wouldn't lose his cool and make a face like that. That's ridiculous. I'm not even going to show him anymore. Um, so Spawn comes with a little base with the Spawn logo on it. 
and he comes with this sword. I'll never use it though. Um, and both characters come with a trading card, which I don't know, I guess people who are nostalgic for the 90s would dig this. I don't I don't know who the audience is for. Who who this is for? Like do you guys still like trading cards? I mean, I I I don't. I think I haven't I haven't purchased any trading cards since the 90s. Like uh I don't know, do people still like those? Do do people still collect cards? I don't see it. I never hear of it. Hey, you guys remember when pogs were uh were popular for like about 6 weeks <laughs> and then they went away? Pogs were huge in Hawaii. They were fucking massive in Hawaii. And then when they came over here, yeah, it lasted all of about what felt like 6 weeks and then they were just gone. I still have some spawn pogs <laughs> somewhere. Uh, anyway, yeah, it comes with a trading card, so there's that. Batman comes with his card. And Batman comes with a, a batarang and a couple of other hands and a base with no bat symbol on it, even though the spawn one has a spawn symbol on it. Um, they, they come with this backdrop, which is, I don't know, it's kind of funny. It looks really generic. So it's sort of like um, skulls and rocks. I don't know if you if you gave this thing a, a decent paint job and then you know gave it some washes and some dry brushing, it would probably look way better. Um, and then this background of like some just some fucking CGI generated skulls and smoke or something. I don't know. It just. It looks lazy to me. It looks like McFarlane turned to one of his interns and was like, "Yeah, uh, punch me up something with a with a bunch of uh, skulls and smoke, very hell like." And they were like, "I'm on it, boss." And then the next thing you know, here we go. Because the other side is comic art from the actual comic book when Spawn met Batman. And neither of these figures look like this. This is how they looked when they met. Spawn still had the red on his costume. The figure doesn't. Batman was in his gray and blue with the little ears. This one isn't. It's, it's just like, why include this artwork if the figures don't even look like it? It's ki It kind of feels like a lazy set they threw together. Like, they already had this Batman body. All they did was paint it darker and add that retarded head. And then they already had the spawn completed. And all they did was um, give him a, uh, a full cape. So it feels kind of like a lazy... I don't know. It feels kind of lazy. Am I glad I ordered it? Yeah, because I wanted... I wanted the spawn with a vinyl cape. I'm glad they finally produced one. But now that he's side by side with my, my custom spawn that I did with the, the throne spawn, um, it makes me like mine even more. Which one do you guys like better? If you choose this one, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> I don't care one way or another. I like this one more. I think the cape looks uh, cooler. Like I said, I like how the, the collar is opened out more so you can see more of his face. 
where this one is obscured by it a little bit, you know. Um, there's more range of motion. His shoulders actually move and can get out of the way of this one. Whereas this one, he's kind of traffic coned in there because you can't, can't get past this vinyl. Um, I know this is just nitpicks because they're basically the same damn figure, but I think my heart is still with the one on the left. Anyway, guys, that is a look at the new Spawn Batman 2-pack. If you didn't pick this one up with the throne and come up with your own cape like I did, then this one's definitely the, the way to go because he comes already done. All you got to do is take him out of the package and enjoy him. This one took some work. This one's already done. So, yeah, if you don't have the one on the left, I would go with the one on the right. All right, my friends, thanks for stopping back by and taking a look at everybody's favorite undead necroplasm powered hell spawn. I'll be back with some more monsters pretty soon. Happy Halloween.